This is your Senator, Donna Fred Gregory, and today I will be reading A Nancy and Mongoose by Johanse Henley, a native young Virgin Islander. And I hope that you enjoy this book as much as I enjoy reading it to you. Let me tell you about Anansi the trickster. He was always jealous and filled with greed. He would reap your crops, but never planted a seed. But worst of all, he was very lazy. He'd always find ways to outsmart friends. I mean, it's crazy. Not everyone fell for Anansi's tricks, like his good friend named Mongoose, and boy, he was slick. One day, Anansi figured he needed help with his shop, but as lazy as he was, he knew he'd have to work hard and work nonstop. He needed someone who could pick fruits, climb trees, and do it all very fast. Then he saw Mongoose hurrying by and thought, well, it can't hurt to ask. Hey, Mongoose, I would like you to work for me. I will teach you how to pick any fruit from any tree. Mongoose replied very eagerly, sounds great. What's the rate going to be? It's simple, said Anansi, cleverly. For every five fruits you pick, one will be yours to keep. I will pay you every day, as long as you pick from sunrise until sunset. Mongoose, this is a deal that you will never regret. Well, they began picking immediately the next day, like a master to a student or a father to a son. Mangu shadowed Anansi's every move, taking full advantage of this one and one. Mangu's learned very fast. Boy, he learned very quickly. No one ever saw it coming, but yes, Anansi was weaving his master trickery. After one week, Mongoose got very skillful at picking fruits. Now Mongoose was doing all the work while Anansi waited at home for him to gather the loot. Mangoes, kenneps, guavas, sawasap, and passion fruits. Anansi could only imagine all the money he would be rolling in to tell you the truth. Come back tomorrow, said Anansi. It's impossible to check and count the fruits. It is dark, so I can't see well enough. So hungry and tried, Mangus hurried along home, not seeing Anansi's clever bluff. There were five of each fruit, and Anansi had a plan. For every fifth fruit, Anansi would eat one. When the next day came, and Mangus was looking for his pay, and Nancy shared the news with Mongoose. And boy, he was in dismay. Mongoose went out again. This time, he counted how many fruits he picked, all grumbling to himself. And Nancy think he's clever and slick. At the end of the day, Mongoose delivered a full bag, only to hear from Anansi, come back tomorrow. I am tired today, as today has been long. Mongoose left, but this time he was very suspicious. So he snuck around the back of Anansi's house and heard Anansi shout, Oh my, these fruits are so delicious. Mongoose knew what he had to do, and he had to move quick, quick, quick. So he went back into the dark, and he began to pick, pick, pick. The next day, Mongoose went to Anansi. He was smiling with glee. Anansi told Mongoose, sorry, from each fruit you pick, I only counted three. Mongoose smiled and said, it's okay, Anansi. I don't want to work for you anymore. But you, if you ever want good fruits, you can come see me. I have my own shop right down the road from your store. Anansi didn't understand what Mangus was trying to say until he went out to pick some fruit 
and there was not one fruit left. So Anansi had to pay. Up to this day, Mango store is doing real good, bringing in the loot. As for Anansi, well, he works for Mangoose now every day, picking fruit. Will Ben story end? The moral of this story is, one who causes others misfortune also teaches them wisdom. Thank you for joining us.